Hello everyone, my name is Catherine Johnson of Raw Appetite. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast cereal using linseeds. Linseeds are one of the grains that I use for my breakfast. I use a variety of different grains, um, but I'm particularly fond of linseeds. Um, this is what they look like uh, when they're just dry, so how you get them from the shops. Linseeds can be bought either brown or golden uh, varieties. Um, there's no nutritional difference whatsoever in them. So why not go for the cheaper option, which is the brown one? Okay. What you need to do is actually soak. Linseeds are very, very hard outer shell. Um, and to make them digestible, what you need to do is soak them overnight in water. Um, and in the morning, um, they'll have got very, very... Um, thick and mucus-like, and what you need to do is rinse off that mucus texture. Um, so here in this bowl are the linseeds that have been rinsed. Okay, so they're ready to use, that's what I'll use in the morning. Okay, right, I'm going to assemble my breakfast cereal now. So, um, I've got a pear, a banana, um, I'm going to use some cinnamon, and in this beaker here I have um, some hemp milk. Um, if you haven't made any hemp milk, you could actually just add in hemp seeds um, and some water. But um, I've made uh, pre-made pre some hemp milk, so that's going to be the fluid content of the porridge. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put in the banana. Just chop that up quickly. It's very easy to assemble in the morning, which is what you want, really. Choose a nice ripe banana, it'll be sweeter. Just quickly chop it, it's very soft. Add it to the beaker of your blender. I'm using a very small personal blender this morning. And then I'm going to add a pear, which I have I've washed, but I haven't bothered peeling. You could use an apple um, or any other fruit in season for that matter. Peaches are nice. Apricots are nice, and so are dates. So I just roughly chop that and put it into the blender. Okay. Sometimes it's nice to um, keep a little bit of fruit aside um, and use it as a topping, because the blender is going to create a porridgey mush. So just for interest, you can keep a little piece aside and put that on top later on. So we've got banana, pear, I'm go now going to add the flax seeds. Then I'm going to add a flavouring. I personally, um, I'm a huge fan of cinnamon. So just add a teaspoon of cinnamon, but you could use vanilla if you wanted to, or nutmeg. And, and then I'm going to add my uh, hemp seed milk. Um, and how much you add is entirely um, a matter of taste. If you like a runny porridge, add more. And obviously if you like a more sort of a thicker consistency in porridge, add less. So just experiment. Um, generally I add in about, probably about a two tablespoons. But I don't measure things, just sort of judge it by eye. Okay, um, and that's it. So we've got bananas on the bottom, we've got pear, flax seeds, a flavouring, in this case cinnamon, and then um, some fluid. Stick the lid on, and then literally we'll put it in the, in the blender and I'll whiz it for a few seconds. into my breakfast bowl and you'll see how porridge like it is in consistency. That's really going to fill you up till lunchtime. Okay. That porridge is good enough to go as it is, but I often um, like to add some fresh fruit on top of it. So I'm going to use the remainder of the pear that we kept on the side earlier. Um, just put that on top. 
Um, you can use any fresh berries, which are always great tasting. So this morning I'm going to try some blueberries. There you have a nutritious, sustaining bowl of porridge that will keep you going well up to lunchtime.